All right. <clears throat> I think the camera says that we're live here. Hi, everyone. Dr. Kent here from Oliver Chiropractic Wellness Clinic, and I'm here today with Meg, also from Oliver Chiropractic Wellness Clinic. And uh, today we're here to discuss eating mindfully. Uh, and I think it's an uh, important topic to discuss for this time of year. Mm -hmm. It's a busy time of year. And maybe some of our nutritional habits tend to go a little bit by the wayside uh, this time of year. All right. But, so, but before we get into the discussion, Meg, how about you help us understand a little bit about you for anybody who's watching the video, um, maybe they uh, haven't looked you up on the website, uh, give us a little bit of a synopsis about you. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome. Yeah, my name is Meg and I have been following my interest in nutrition and passion for uh, health and wellness over many, let's just say many moons. Uh, <laughs> and it's always been my thing and I'm a foodie at heart. I love to garden, cook, shop, um, plan menus and um, I love to do that with other people and one of my specialty areas is nutrition coaching which is what brought me to, um, to Kent at Oliver Chiropractic Wellness Clinic and um, just one-on-one -on -one nutrition consultations with uh, people, helping them to uh, whatever their needs might be, shop healthier, plan meals, um, eat healthier, um, both for themselves and their families. So I also, um, in addition to working at the clinic, I uh, cook part-time at a retreat center and I do nutrition tours at grocery stores. And um, yeah, so looking forward to spending a few minutes with you and uh, talking about one of my favorite topics, which is mindful eating. Uh, yeah, and after our first Facebook Live video, I think we <clears throat> well, we brought up the fact that I think this was a topic that, that we should discuss, mm -hmm. right? So I've been into the, and it's a timely discussion. So and this is a Facebook Live video. If you have comments or questions that you'd like to share uh, with us, please feel free to leave them and we'd love to have the opportunity to engage with you. And maybe this topic hits home for you or maybe this topic hits home for someone you know or someone you care about. So feel free to share the video uh, with them and, and have them have the opportunity to uh, be involved with the conversation or be exposed to the uh, be exposed to the information. So eating mindfully, the mm -hmm. concept of eating mindfully, mm -hmm. Megan, help us understand what that is. Help the viewers understand what that is. You bet. Eating mindfully in a nutshell is about bringing our awareness and our presence to our kitchens, to our tables, and to our plates. Um, it's simply about um, being in the present moment and the right here and now and just focusing on eating. Um, it's about eating with intention, with a plan about how we're going to eat, where we're going to eat, why, why we're even eating, yeah. in addition to being selective about what we eat. But beyond what we eat, Mindful eating takes it, look, has a look, looks more at the how we're eating. Um, you know, nutrition is a lot about carbs and proteins and fats and the food, essential. Mm -hmm. But um, it's important to look beyond that to how we eat, why we eat, where we eat, when we eat, and, and um, looking at nutrition and our eating in a more holistic way is what mm -hmm. mindful eating is about. Right, right. And when we were discussing this, uh, you know, prior, I mean, when, 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 when you're looking at eating, the act of eating, it's more of the mechanism of eating. Yeah. Right? Right? Yes. The, you know, like the, 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 the mechanism of eating. And then when you're looking at the how and the why and the where, right? Mm. And that becomes the, 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 the that becomes the, 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 the senses that you use for your eating, mm -hmm. right? Making your senses aware for your eating. And that's how I sure. understand that and to interpret what you, what, what, what you communicate. Is that a fair way of looking at things? For sure. And yeah, there, I, I like <clears> to make <throat> the distinction between eating, which Kent was alluding to, and nourishing. And eating is more than mechanical, yeah. physical, and chomp, sometimes chomp. what we do fast when we're mm -hmm. in automatic pilot, managing our busy lives. Whereas nourishing takes eating to a whole nother level where we engage our senses, we take time, we pause, we breathe, we, we um, celebrate and enjoy the pleasure of, of healthy eating and the abundance of food before us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then mindful eating is, w w in the process of mindful eating, is, is really meant to then combat the polar end of it, mindless eating, mm -hmm. right? So what is then mindless eating? How do we conceptualize and understand mindless eating. Yeah. 
Mindless eating is, is fairly prevalent today in our busy, busy world, fast paced world. Um, I think most people can relate to it. I know I personally can. Mm -hmm. um, and mindless eating is eating more randomly without a plan. Um, could be anywhere, anytime, pulling into a fast food restaurant on a regular basis, um, eating out of emotion, um, not really being in tune with what we eat and, and multitasking often. Mindless eating happens if we're multitasking and we're checking our emails or we're reading a book, um, we're angry, we're bored, we're stressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so it is the polar opposite, whereas mindful eating is about we eat with intention, we have a plan, we take time, we're, we're not multitasking, we're focusing on eating. Right. We're, we're in the moment and we're aware and we're enjoying, we engage our senses and um, there's a bit of a process with that which I'll go through in a, in a couple minutes but total ends of the spectrum and the goal of mindful eating is to really help eradicate and minimize mindless eating. Right. Whether it's, you know, eating, watching TV, mm -hmm. um, it, 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 you know, it, it happens um, and occasionally that's fine but if, if we tend to mindless eat on a regular basis, mm -hmm. that could... That could lead it. it um, the whole factor of digestion too is impacted. Whether we eat mindlessly and fast, or whether we eat slow and mindfully, mm -hmm. has a huge impact on the body. Okay, so, so when I'm hearing you and and, and, and and to try to summarize, and if I'm over overlooking anything, just let me know. But when it comes to mindless eating, what you're communicating, the mindless eating in of itself can have multiple layers of um, or, 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 or multiple sources of motivation for that, right? There's a time factor, there's the uh, emotional factor, right? So, I mean, from an emotional factor, so I, I feel bad, I might eat, or I feel anxious, I might eat. There might be an emotional right. connection or trigger to, the, uh, to that. From a, from a time factor, um, maybe when, we're, when, 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 when someone's eating through the week, through their, maybe their lunch, or their, maybe even their dinner, depending on, 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 on their work or their responsibilities, they're also trying to complete tasks while they eat, mm -hmm. right? Um, it, whether that be emails or short little to-do things that you try to knock off on your to-do list, because right. you understand we all have sometimes long to-do lists right, right. To, to accomplish. Um, but also when it comes to the time concept that we can that that may cause us to eat mindlessly, there's also the fact that maybe you might have breakfast and not eat for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not eat all day and then you eat in a dinner, that one meal, and uh, not necessarily fueling yourself, not even really getting the mechanics of eating in, right. much less the nourishment of eating in. Right. right, you're not even really getting that that nutrition in period, right. right? Which will have, <clears throat> or can may very well have, other health effects for other reasons for other lifestyles, mm -hmm. right? So, so th that summarize mindless eating. What in in in, yeah. in how I'm interpreting Absolutely. that? What you're what what you're saying there? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then, when it comes to then mindful eating, yes, right? There's like there are layers to mindful eating that 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 we've talked about in terms of uh, uh, the things to think about, right? Yeah. So can you help uh, some of our viewers sure. get into that a little bit? Yeah, mindful eating is a process and, and it's a journey. Um, but initially it's important to just stop, to just pause. Um, and uh, that brings us to the present moment. That makes us aware. And when we pause and stop, taking a breath. Um, Breathing is a huge, oxygen is a huge requirement for metabolism. And breathing helps to slow us down, to put us into that rest and digest mode, mm -hmm. and to prepare us for, for the whole eating process. Mm -hmm. So stopping, pausing, and that will help to create the space so that we're more aware of our minds, our bodies, are we hungry or not? Yeah. Who we're sharing our table with, what we're about to eat. Yeah. Um, and then connecting. It gives us a moment to connect with those we may be sharing the table with, or if we're eating on our own, connecting with ourselves, connecting with the food we're about to eat, connecting with our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, also thinking about all that went into, mindful eating takes, it's another <coughs> layer, as you alluded to, of thinking about where all our food, who, who, all the hands that play a role in bringing food to our table. And also, in the 21st century, we need to think not just of our health and our bodies when we're making food choices, but also the health of the planet and making eco-friendly uh, choices also. So stopping, pausing, being aware, connecting with 
our food, those around us. And then eating was designed to be pleasurable. And so it's savoring. It's engaging our senses and savoring, enjoying, celebrating food, um, and really tasting, really smelling, feeling. Um, it's been said we eat twice, first with our eyes and then with our palate. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where eating becomes not just eating. Mindful eating becomes a more holistic experience. Yep. Um, and finally, um, with savoring and time and the breathing, it allows us to feel nourished, to feel mm -hmm. satiated. Because with the mindless eating and when we eat fast, sometimes we can leave the table not feeling full or satisfied. And that's because we weren't present or aware. Because if digestion is 100%, 60% happens in our body and 40% happens in our mind. So if we're eating without awareness, we're going to leave feeling partially empty and not satiated or satisfied. Right. Um, right. And finally, when we've gone through that process, is reflecting and stopping and pausing again. And if we're thinking of seconds, do we really need that mm -hmm. allowing time it takes 20 minutes for food from our stomach to tell our brain yes we're full no we're not full yeah and um that's a very important piece to to moderation to eating what we need no more no less mm -hmm. um and reflect in that reflection we can give thanks to the people who share our table for the food just an appreciation um whatever feels right for you and just um celebrating and experience that feeling of nourishment of abundance yeah yes and 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 i think those are and that and that's true true and true and true mm -hmm. right With everything that you're saying at least from my perspective and and i find and i think that's why your work works so well with the work that we're overall looking to do at oliver chiropractic wellness clinic and and then just as a reminder if anybody's tuning in i'm dr ken ferguson this is meg oxland and we're both from oliver chiropractic wellness clinic i'm a chiropractor meg is our registered dietitian and today we're discussing eating mindfully, right? Mm. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, anything to share to the, and add to the discussion, please feel free uh, to, to leave a comment in the comment section below. And as well, please share and like the video, um, especially if you feel as though that some of this information may be useful for a friend or a loved one, um, it's important to share the, share the information. Um, and now Meg was just discussing uh, the, the components, the layers of, of, of eating mindfully, you know, a pausing, becoming aware. Um, and then and when, when, you, when, when you communicate that and how that really does align, again, with the work that we're looking to do at Oliver Chiropractic Wellness Clinic is that when you take the opportunity to pause and to become aware, what, 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 what you effectively uh, do as an individual is you make an active shift from the state of your nervous system. Mm -hmm. You make an active shift from that go, 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 go to a state of rest and digest, right? Sympathetic, parasympathetic. Yeah. And then when you're in your state, in that state of rest and digest, <clears throat> as you say it, most of the digestion occurs mm -hmm. uh, in the brain, it starts with our eyes, mm -hmm. right? Then when we're in our state of rest and digest, you are physiologically able to understand the signaling that's coming from your second brain, your gut, to what's going on in here, to understand A, if you're full, right. uh, if the nutrition that you're presently putting into your body is appropriate, mm -hmm. right? Your, your body's gonna let you know that, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then in, then, and then to be able to have the, the, the scope of view or vision about that meal and that time to be, Grateful, thankful, social with the people around you, right. uh, reflectful, mindful. So, um, yeah, and then, and then, so I think that's important, right? right? As an act, as in a practice for us to be able to do. That's right. And I like how you describe the whole neur neurology behind it. Um, uh, because from a nutritional perspective, that's where the magic happens. When we're mm -hmm. in the parasympathetic and that rest and digest, that's yeah. when we can. That's when digestion is 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 optimal yeah. and when we absorb the most nutrition when we're calm when we're in that relaxed state when we're breathing and we're having oxygen come into our mm -hmm. bodies and that's mm -hmm. a quality digestive experience and our bodies will thank us for that mm -hmm. yes so then what are some of the uh 
the goals then? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, so what are some of the goals of eating mindfully? What are some of you should be trying to strive for, if you will? The, the goal, the way, yeah. yes, is to shift out of that automatic, fast-paced pilot mm-hmm. um, mode and to pause and to, to be just to be in the present moment and to just eat. Um, so shifting from mindless to mindful eating is one of the goals. Also, one of the goals is that we eat. There are three um, tenets of nutrition that will always be. Nutrition information and science is ever evolving, but there's some time-tested principles that will always be. Yeah. And three of those are, one is variety, one is balance, and one is moderation. And they actually, all three, reinforce each other. But to eat moderately, because we've slowed down, we're listening to our bodies, and we'll eat what we need because we've taken time to listen to our bodies and yeah. let our bo- listen to our body's wisdom whether we're full hungry satiated um and because we're present our body is digesting at 100 percent mm-hmm. um so healthy digestion would be another goal and just establishing a healthy or healthier relationship with food and some people never think of it that way but you know food we eat three four five six seven times a day and food for some people is a real source of conflict or the enemy in some ways Mm -hmm. food was designed to be our friend pleasurable um to be life giving yeah and um so um sometimes that's a place i focus on with my clients is establishing a more healthier relationship with food and strategies to go about that and finally is a goal of mindful eating is just to eat in a more peaceful and sustainable way sustaining our health Mm -hmm. and sustaining the health of the planet Okay, so then those are our goals. And what would be then some of the challenges that uh, people will commonly experience to be meeting those goals? Um, you know, sometimes when I'm with clients and um, they share a bit of their lifestyle and their days, and mm-hmm. um, just time is lacking for a lot of people, um, and. Um, Sometimes we, we don't advocate for ourselves or put ourselves first, like not taking a break for work or taking a lunch hour. Yeah. So um, yeah. the busy, full lives that we have, complicated lives sometimes, um, sometimes food, just nutrition, health, shopping, planning, eating well is an investment. It takes time, energy, resources, and resourcefulness. And so yeah. sometimes it's not a priority. So yeah. it's helping people okay, once I understand their lifestyle, how can I help you? How, how can, what are some ways, small, simple steps where you can create a little space of time so that you nourish in a better, healthier, more optimal manner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, and I mean, and that, so, so then one of the also challenges that, that, that leads into the habits that they create. Yeah. Right, I mean, you kind of get into that zone, that rut, if you will, however you're yeah. going to describe it, uh, the challenge of time, the challenge of uh, the habit that are, that, that's created around that time, uh, if you will, yep. right? So, yeah. um, and again, I'm Dr. Kent, this is Meg. Uh, Meg's our registered dietitian here at Oliver Chiropractic Wellness Clinic, and we're here in, actually in her dining room uh, today discussing mindful eating, um, and hopefully you find the, the discussion uh, helpful and useful to yourself, or maybe somebody you know, so please share that information with them. So feel free to like and share that video, and also leave questions or comments below. Right, uh, uh, if you so wish, we'd love to be able to have the opportunity to interact with you. So, getting back to the discussion, Meg, okay, we've discussed mindful eating, we've discussed mindless eating, right? And then when it comes to mindful eating, um, being aware, um, both uh, internally and externally, if you will, um, giving us the opportunity to uh, slow down, yeah. um, enjoy the company around us, if you will. Yep. Or just even maybe reflect on your day because sometimes we eat alone. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's not always a family, social right. setting. Maybe we're traveling. Maybe you're single. So sometimes we eat alone. Um, but that <clears throat> doesn't take away from uh, those those aspects of eating mindfully. Right? It actually can enhance it. Okay. All right. If we're in solitude eating alone, that's a time when we can really focus yeah. maybe easier mm-hmm. than when we're in the midst of, of a social setting, which which is also always wonderful. Yeah. It was yeah. meant to be social. but. That can be a time where we can really be even more mindful is when we have the quiet and peace to ourselves. So it's not necessarily even a bad thing. Yeah, okay, exactly. for all those single people out there, I took a it's long totally. time for me to get a date and find my wife, so it actually wasn't a bad thing that I was eating alone all that time. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> okay, so we understand that the challenges, right? So somebody's okay, okay, you know, Meg, this is all, all, you know, hitting home with me. But okay, what's the benefit? I mean, I'm doing what I'm doing, but what's the benefit? The benefits of micro eating are, um, are many. Um, healthy digestion for one. Another, um, and mindfulness, the whole mindfulness movement has been around for about 40 years and lots of research has been done. And what they've discovered with mindful eating is that it can help to prevent overeating. Okay. Because that ripple effect of slowing down, tuning okay. into your body, mm -hmm. we're more in tune with what we need. And if we've taken that time to allow the stomach to talk to the brain and we listen to that, maybe we okay. don't need those seconds. Yeah. Second helping. Or maybe we'll just choose a salad instead of french fries, right? Yep. Um, so it can help to prevent overeating. It can also help to uh, minimize binge eating. So if we're in tune with our bodies and our hunger or our emotions more, then um, maybe we're stopping long enough to say, okay, that's not really the answer to my stress or my boredom or my anger. Yeah. What are some other outlets I can, I can uh, discover to deal with that? Okay. And so if eating happens once in a time out of emotion, that's normal. But if it's if it tends to be the go-to thing on a regular the basis, habit. It tends the habit. To be the habit. That's right. Right. Yeah. Then that's a concern. Yeah. And also, it's been found for those who struggle with disordered eating and eating disorders that um, this is another tool. Um, the mindful eating is a whole another tool and way of helping them um, cope and and heal from their from their issues. Um, and also, finally, uh, mindful eating is a positive alternative to dieting. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different approach and a more mm -hmm. positive mm -hmm. approach that doesn't deal with deprivation or the calories or the scale. Just a whole different way of reframing and looking at it. Yeah. It can be, lead to quite success because it's also been found mindful eating to help manage our weight, to help with weight loss if that is one of, if that is somebody's health goal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So many, many benefits. Yes. So then with those benefits, let's try to have some people leave with um, take home strategies, right? What are some yeah. things that we can that they can look to do, even we can look to do. I can yeah. learn to eat more mindfully at certain times of the week. I know that with running a practice, having a couple of kids and activities and yeah. just trying to make that all balance. And because I mean, my, my, my wife, well, she, she works, she has another business on the side. Um, and yeah, so there's, yeah. there's just things in people's lives. So that's right. And, that, and that's the norm. That's, all yeah. that, that's yeah. you know, nobody's alone in that. Yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, so a few different, um, tips and one would be I know for me on Sundays I'm kind of neurotic about planning the week and if I don't I don't sleep well Sunday night one of the <laughs> things I plan is of course fruit yeah, and yeah. what's on the menu and, yeah. and, and where what's all happening with that food first and um, so um, but that happens to be a benefit of happened to be in the field I am I have yeah. to walk the talk and yeah. live what I give mm -hmm. um, but think of you know maybe focus on Maybe pick a dinner that night, that week, or you're going to just do some different things. Plan ahead. How can you create more time and space um, for enjoying a meal? And maybe it's creating rituals, like, for example, um, taking my phone and putting it in the office or turning off the computer. And maybe it's just lighting, setting the table. And that somehow is a transition moment that, okay, this is dinner hour, this is a time set apart where we're just going to eat and enjoy each other's company and tune in a little bit and have a dinner hour mm -hmm. without technology, without yeah. the phone can ring unless it's an emergency, let it ring. Yeah. Most things are not urgent. Um, it can be lighting a candle, it can be putting on some soft music. So yeah. some simple ritual that's meaningful to you is another suggestion. Um, sitting down, sitting down and eating versus standing in the kitchen mm -hmm. helps also. And um, remember to breathe, taking a breath before you eat. Um, I'll leave it at that. Those are a few little tips. So planning, planning, sitting down, breathing, creating a ritual. And if you live in a family setting or have roommates, you know, um, engage the people who share your table. Yeah. Um, find people of like mind who are willing to, um, you know, slow down with you. Mm -hmm. and um, make, make it a journey. It's, it's an important piece of the wellness journey and it's a process and it's, uh, um, it's not, and it's not that, you know, 
three meals a day times seven days a week doesn't mean that 21 times a week we need to create a feast and take an hour at each meal. That's not realistic. Yeah. But it's finding little ways along the journey to, um, it's an important piece of self-care. And to think yeah. about the concept of eating and nourishing. Mm. Um, our bodies will thank us and um, our digestion will be happier. Yeah. And uh, so, will, so will we and the planet. Mm -hmm. And really... Starting small, maybe? Simple, simple, right. simple. Right, like, I mean, even with all that we've talked about there, right? I mean, it can feel a little daunting if you're way behind the eight ball, right? I mean, it can yeah. feel a little daunting. So, I mean, and from that, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, if you think maybe this is something else to really focus on, but if you're, like, way behind the eight ball, like, oh, you know, all this sounds right, Meg, but I just can't. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, I just, I just can't. Although the, the theme, at least with our discussion or discussions, um, I think the first place we can maybe start is just being aware of that pause, that stop, right? Stop. right? Um, before we're looking at idealizing our environment or, or even coming ha having a whole bunch of creative recipes to go to, yeah. right? I mean, that's all a learning process, right? That's right. Like, where can we start? And I think that's That's right. Pausing. It's pausing, breathing. So yeah. one breath one moment mm -hmm. one bite one day at a time one meal at a time you know it, it's a process um, yeah and I'm happy to accompany anyone on the mindful eating journey who might have yeah. questions um, um, that, that's what I do so yeah we'll talk a little bit more about that like I mean how do you go about helping someone what are, what, what are ways people can go about getting help from you for sure so, um, so I offer nutrition coaching at Oliver Chiropractic Wellness Clinic, and it's a. Uh, I've been working in private practice for about twenty years, and um, when I meet with a client, I do a complete nutrition, health, and lifestyle assessment, and find out what your goals are, and work with what you want and what you need, and where you want to go. Mm -hmm. um, and um, mindful eating is is one of my focuses, and uh, I do nutrition shopping tours. I do menu planning with people. Um, a whole wide variety of, of services that are available on our website okay. at ocwc.ca. We have a couple promotions right now. One is um, I'm offering to Oliver Chiropractic Clinic patients a complimentary 15-minute phone consultation and also a winter special, uh, $95 for a one-hour nutrition consultation. Okay. And uh, that will include a, a general assessment, hearing about your goals and giving you some direction um, for moving forward. And um, you can call reception also at 780-721-2212 and they can assist you or help you. I think you. you gave your phone number. 780-455-2112. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Do you have anything else to add, Ken? No, I, I, think, that, I think this <laughs> conversation was was fantastic. I mean, I, mean, I mean, even in preparing for us to talk, I mean, the way you communicate things and bring even points home to me and I hope everybody took something out of this at least one thing maybe becoming aware you know pausing the sun has come out so maybe we are making a making a point that <laughs> we need to shed some light on <laughs> and you could do that too just stop and catch some sunlight yeah yeah this Vitamin time B. of year especially yeah and and especially um thinking about you know December is an accelerated month, yeah, and it's it's a it's a maybe a difficult time, but yeah. an optimal time to be considering the whole concept of mindful eating throughout mm. the holiday season, yeah, or what you might want to change or do differently in the new year, yeah. So, um, yeah, to your health. All right, thank, thank you for tuning in. Yes, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for allowing mm -hmm. me to come in, and then yeah. um, we'll see you next time, maybe Ciao. into the new year with a. Uh, with another Facebook Live presentation. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Right. Bye now.